Hey guys, we're back with some crazy news. After several bold statements, the rapper The Game is going to proceed with the challenge and this M&M on Wax. That much his manager Wax100 revealed in a clubhouse room. He said that the game has a diss track and even a response to M's hypothetical response. This theme is gearing up for an epic battle. We are starting the fire, the blacks and shady. Eminem responded to Machine Gun Kelly and Nick Cannon. It is what it is. Well. Oh no. We starting the fire. The black slim shady is coming. That nigga better be ready. This nigga done went crazy. Elaborate. You talking about with the bars? The black slim shady. You coming for Eminem? Coming like a motherfucker. He coming like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they take that, bro. He better, hey boy, boy. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. You, you, if you responded to Machine Gun Kelly and Nick Cannon, boy, you, you ain't gonna. It's what it is. But this is friendly competition, though. Them niggas ain't got no real beef. The host was understandably surprised by the passion Wack 100 infused in his statement. Especially considering that the game started in this entire story as a challenge to prove that he's a better rapper than Eminem and there were not any hard feelings involved. This is a friendly competition. I don't think they have a real beef. Wack 100 kept going. Nah, but shit. You know, that nigga M is a disrespectful nigga, man. Who, M? Hell yeah, nigga. nigga he disrespect his game. old mama, my nigga. Shit, he disrespect himself. So, yeah. This nigga <laughs> whack, right? <laughs> what? The nigga talk about killing his baby mama, putting her in the trunk. Fuck my mama, my own mama. A disrespectful nigga, man. He ain't lying. So, you know, if he don't mind doing that to himself, oh, ain't man, no limits to where he gonna go with another motherfucker. You can't take that shit to court, man. That's just lyrics, bro. It's just music. Nah, you missing the whole point. When you get in that arena with that nigga, ain't no shit. <laughs> ain't, ain't no boundaries with this nigga, man. He ain't got no boundaries with himself. He disrespected his own mama. He disrespected himself. He ain't got no boundaries with himself. The whole WAG 100 spiel on his clubhouse station sounds like a prep talk for a shadow boxer. He twists facts, repeats misconceptions, and describes his own artists as a black version of Eminem, killing his possible originality even before the drop. He funnels the flames of an absent beef attacks 50 and sets the rules for a lap duel with Eminem, which is never going to happen. We all know the game needs more hype to sell his new album, but WAG 100 pitting him against Marshall is a recipe for disaster. And the game has had them enough in his career. Will we witness the new M&M Ds? Comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.